Hello and welcome to week eight. Uh, we are halfway there. Spring break is starting at the very end of this week when we're done on the 14th. So get your stuff in, uh, enjoy your break to the best of your ability and all will be good. So for week eight, what we are doing is we are reading Little Seagull Handbook sections W12 and W14. These will help you get a better idea of the first two main sections of our paper, which are going to be the overview and the review of literature. So this is going to show you, I think, uh, it's annotated bibliographies and proposals. I want you to think of your um, overview as more like a proposal, what it is you're doing in your project. I have a video that discusses or goes over the, the paper, uh, the paper overview. There should be a link, and I don't thought I had one right here research project look at this video and it will tell you kind of what the first start is make sure that you are looking at these things and then i have the first section that we're working on which is the overview and review of literature next thing that we are doing is we have a group discussion board so i have moved you all into groups now you're not moved but i've put you into groups based on your topics. And if we scroll all the way down here, you can see your groups. So it's just alphabetically ordered by your first name, your topic as reported to me in the stasis theory lesson. And I put you in a subgroup and then a main group. What I've done to make things easier for me and organizing everything is I put you into two main groups. I used to do like five, six, seven, eight groups, and that's a lot to organize. Um, so two main groups and then subgroups. Your first task in your groups and your subgroups is going to be discussion board 22. So you'll take this link right here. You can see the two groups. Um, your, your topics kind of broke it down into things that are controlled by the government and things that are part of society. So we have 20 members in group, uh, government group and 18 in society group. When you click on one of these, you will see all the group members and this subgroup. That's what that should probably actually say. What I'm having you do in the discussion board, you scroll right down here, go to group discussion board, you'll see discussion 22. You are going to watch the videos and then provide an outline on your topic. We are looking at uh, an overview, a brief explanation of your topic, your research argument, what it is you want to argue. I actually got to get rid of this. This won't be there by the time you get there. We already did this. Your call to action based on what you've researched, what should we know? Um, in the subject line, I want you to make it so it's your topic and then the subgroup. Because what we're going to be doing is once you have written all your stuff down, you're going to go through and read your subgroup members because we're all looking at similar topics. You will have some basic information. And I want you to look at answering is the topic folks enough? is it answer the questions about the issue and does a call to action seem re reasonable and then comment on some basic things some of our groups are smaller than others i think the largest group is eight people so i'm asking you to look at eight total um yeah eight total subgroup members so if you are posting in your subgroup that has eight you'll read seven other posts and then i want you to read one outside of your subgroup now, it seems a little confusing, but you'll have a total of nine posts. So let's say you are in the policies group. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You will post yours and you'll read the other six policies and then you'll read two more from these other subgroups. The idea is to kind of learn a little bit from other people as well. So that is what we're doing with the groups assignment. If you have questions, please make sure you contact me. Additionally, not everybody uh, posted in discussion, uh, the, the state, what was it? Yeah, the stasis theory discussion. Um, so I didn't have all your groups. So if you're not in one of these groups, you need to contact me immediately so I can put you in your, your groups. And so I didn't update this correctly. So I will update that as well. Last things we have to do, uh, we have a, our book review revision that will be due. Go to the book review, um, folder and you'll see right here your final you will submit your 
revised book review based on the feedback from your classmates, if you got any decent feedback and feedback from me. Then you'll include a 250 word reflection just at the end of your paper. It's all one document. That's an important thing because you can't upload two documents into Turnitin. So at the very end, so you type your workside a page and then hit a page break. Next page, explain what you learned about writing when writing this review, what feedback helped you improve your paper, how you feel about your paper and the process of writing the review. So this reflection will be at the end of your paper in the same document and file. This will be due on Sunday, the 14th. And the last thing to do is we're still thinking about our topics. I'm just asking you to do a journal entry about what you know. We're looking at about 350 to 500 words about uh, summarizing the sources that you've read. We would call this a, um, <clears throat> what am I gonna say? Synthesis, that's the word a synthesis. We're synthesizing our topics. Um, I have to double check to make sure we did discussion board 13 where we talked about some of the sources, but um, you can look back at some of the things that you've already done. You can look at the uh, pro con and look at that as well, and that will be helpful. Um, so that is where we are for this week. I'll probably post another video where I talk about the book review just to, in, in general to help us understand um, how to make our papers better and there we are. So have a great rest of the week and I will see you soon.